What's up everybody? It's Damn It Boy. Why did I choose that name? Well, everything I'm gonna be showing you guys on my channel, you guys are gonna be saying, Damn It Boy. Surprisingly, his username was as bad as his content, Mr. Damn It Boy's real name was Pedro Ruiz. Him and his girlfriend had a YouTube channel together. I don't know what was the name, but the goal was to be a family vlogging, vlogging YouTuber, like the Ace family, like these kind of people. But unfortunately, some people are likable, some are not, some are naturally come up with good content, some take some time to catch up. There's different variations where you have to different try different things in content creation and see what clicks. I started a reaction channel in the beginning because I thought what Sniper Wolf was doing was cool. Ah. This is another reason why I don't want kids. <laughs> then after seven eight months of wasting my uh, time i was like you know what let me just talk sit and talk about shit but what pedro and his girlfriend were doing they were trying different things they were doing vlogs they were doing shopping for their three-year-old daughter that they had and they had another baby on the way the girlfriend was pregnant again and they were she was recording herself uh, the throughout the pregnancy vlogging i would say now pedro and mona lisa they started their channel in 2016 where an average channel on youtube takes around two to three years for the algorithm to recognize them and meanwhile in this two to three years you're going to learn a lot of things the, your first hundred videos are going to be shit if you just started out so your editing skills the way you talk in front of the camera all these things are going to be improved but apparently these couples they were impatient and they wanted to get to the top as soon as possible you know they were looking at the ace family they were looking at all these couples on the youtube being so uh, famous having so much money and they were wondering why they are not as famous as them because every content creator thinks their content is better than like other big influencers and they're like why is this person bigger than me and i am not my content is better but they tried different things it wasn't working out and back in 2017 there was a lot of couples who were into pranks they were pranking each other who was there was one channel called he he she something the, the couple basically they just do harmless pranks on each other That was so scary, I shed my pants. Before we continue, let's pause a little bit. Apparently, most of you are too cool to subscribe. Just, just a reminder, if you're enjoying the daily content, subscribe. Thank you, okay. There was cheating pranks. There was uh, painting pranks. Mainly all of it, 90% of it was scripted. But it was still entertaining and funny to watch. So, what went through their head? Okay, you know what, babe? Uh, vlogging is not working. This is not working. Let's go do a prank channel. Let's do something so crazy that we will go viral with one video and i have the perfect idea and guess what they both went viral from one video and they're both not even there to enjoy it why oh, let's watch okay this is a 50 caliber desert eagle the cool thing about this is it's tiger stripes I don't know if you can see it. There's tiger. It's a tiger printed gold desert eagle. It's not full gold, just because gold is too weak. But when you see a 50 caliber handgun, you're thinking, "Damn!" But what's inside? What's ridiculous is this 300 grain, 300 grain. Um. What's crazy is this 300 grain. God rest his soul, but with just watching him speak, I wanted to click off this video so bad. It looks like there was still a lot of work that had to be done in the channel. I mean, what am I talking about? I'm at like 10K subs with a few hundred views. Anyways, it looks like there was still a lot of time to improve their content, but they wanted the shortcut in life. They wanted to get that bag real quick by, by doing dumb harmful stuff what are they going to do you see the size of that bullet they're going to put a book in front of his chest and she's gonna she's gonna the girlfriend is going to pew pew through the book and be like yo guys look we did something dangerous 
Make us go viral. We are stupid. Make make us go viral because stupid people go viral. The ultimate the ultimate test to see if this 50 caliber bullet will go through a book is I'm just not gonna just set it and just shoot it. No. I'm going to stand behind it. And Mona Lisa is going to shoot it. Hoping she hits the book. Hoping she hits the book and not me. But the most trustworthy person that I trust in this world is my girlfriend. You trust your girlfriend, but you know who you shouldn't trust? That big ass gun in your hand. God rest your soul. But that tiger, if you don't know what gun that is, that is a gun we see in movies where they shoot it, it goes all the way up because the bullet is so strong. That is a 50 caliber pistol. 50 caliber. If you don't know anything about guns, I don't really know anything about guns. But what I know, it's a sniper bullet. That's how strong it is. You know those snipe snipers when you shoot and the person just flies when the bullet hits them? It's like that. Another thing you shouldn't have trusted uh, Raul. Wait, no, Pedro was the book you hold a book that was this thick with a bullet this thick trusting your life on a big ass gun and a small book was definitely not a wise choice but what other thing wasn't a wise choice is putting your girlfriend through that but i guess when you see how much money and how much fame you can get from social media that is all you see and everything else is black to you so if i'm gonna die I'm pretty much ready to go to heaven right now. If I die, I'll be ready for Jesus. That is the perfect thing to say in front of your girlfriend who is filming a YouTube video for you when you already have a child together and you have a baby on the way. When your pregnant girlfriend is filming you, you're holding a gun, he's like, I am ready to die. I'm sure that's what every pregnant woman's dream for their boyfriends or their her husbands to say my friend so what happened afterwards was they did a test run on it they put the book pedro goes from far away he shoots the book pa goes out the bullet does not go through so they were like we are ready to go but this time i am going to be standing behind the thing but what was released was a statement afterwards where the girlfriend mona lisa was saying no this is a stupid idea please let's not do this what if something happens to you what am i supposed to do then i have we have a daughter together i have we have a baby on the way this is not okay but he was too blind with the his eyes views likes famous money instead of learning and improving himself improving his content he wanted to take the shortcut out and he decided to do something that ne any no one has done on youtube before this is literally the worst youtube idea i have ever heard she goes close to him and arms length and just fires it up and guess what it went through the book surprise surprise he started bleeding out the girlfriend was there called an ambulance ambulance came but he died at the scene your girl needs to get a baby boy clothes <laughs> she wanted to be a viral youtube star now this 19 year old pregnant teenager is in the national spotlight for being accused of manslaughter after that bro went and met his maker and what was she charged with second degree manslaughter she was she got sentenced she pleaded guilty in court she got sentenced to six months in jail and she was on a 10-year probation i believe and she wasn't allowed to own any handgun in this 10-year period obviously because who knows maybe she still wants to be a youtuber gone too soon why because of getting those views and likes so what did we learn from this video if you want to be a prankster don't okay yalla bye